Hi friends, it's Tila checking in here um, to record days six, seven, eight, and nine uh, of my um, PMDD 30 day uh, diary that I'm doing. I was really unwell on Monday, which was day six. Um, it wasn't a PMD related thing. It was more of a viral thing. And um, yeah, I was sort of physically unwell, like just, um, generally lethargic, hot and cold sweats and, um, and yeah, sort of like really extreme tiredness. Um, so some of my other family members have, haven't been feeling too great. So, um, yeah, so something's come around, come in with the kids. So yeah, so sorry, I, um, yeah, kind of, kind of couldn't, couldn't do a post on Monday. Um, and then, yeah, but the rest of the week, the last few days have, yeah, sort of been really normal days. Um, it's my birthday tomorrow, um, which will be day 10. Um, and I sort of, I didn't want to beat myself up about this, but I, because I was going to start going, I think I mentioned in one of my other first um, few posts, I was going to start um, the Zoli pill that had been recommended specifically for, um, people with, you know, sort of women with premenstrual disorders um, due to its ingredients. Um, and I opened up the pack and then I read all of the, <laughs> all of the uh, risks and um, side effects. And I just kind of freaked out a bit because selfishly, I really want to have a good birthday um, this weekend. And I, the last time I went on the pill, I, it, it sort of turned me really quite psychotic and I just I just yeah I said to my husband I just can't do it this time round um and yeah I it's it's a tough one like I um I thought like my periods were actually due like on my birthday so I was really quite happy that they'd come a little bit earlier <laughs> um and yeah like anyone with PMDD would probably understand the good times are like really sacred <laughs> in my month and I really enjoy like my two weeks where I'm feeling quite normal and the fact my birthday is falling on it um yeah I am very very committed to, to trying Zoli because I want to try anything uh but I think that's going to be happening um next month so yeah I've totally pretty much chickened out of doing it so um you know what is this video diary if not the truth of of how i'm feeling um so yeah so that's news in that in that area of um what i sort of decided and not decided to do um i've also had my appointment confirmed with the psychiatrist and that's happening in june so <laughs> these things take time i was probably expecting a longer time frame anyway so um yeah i feel good that i've at least got got that um appointment booked in as well and um i think sometimes just knowing that that i've got you know um i'm doing something i'm doing something proactive um to help my next month or just my my state of mind um, for when, you know, the shit week comes along. Um, so yeah, so nothing out of the ordinary really else in the, the last few days. Um, like I just completely feel like myself, I was running, you know, a few meetings the other night, like I was tired, but like I, if I had done that a few, a, a week or two ago, I would have been, yeah, wrecked for the week. My mind's clear still and um yeah i'm i'm feeling you know quite in control of 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 my behavior and my moods and my emotions um so yeah that's why i felt it was sort of all right to to do day six to six to nine in a in a bundle as well because um i just i feel like myself so this i guess state is is how i you know would love to be 100% of the time. And um, yeah, I, I hate that this affects my family so much, my husband, um, you know, I guess this is a chance for me to 
yeah, reflect on um, how rational or irrational um, some of the things I thought were, were really um, big and serious um, in my life, you know, a week ago, two weeks ago. Um, yeah, because when I reflect on them, I think, wow, like, you know, maybe that was an overreaction. <laughs> um, so, yeah, anyways, I, you know, I want to stay committed to this story because I, I, I know that in a week and a half's time, um, yeah, I, you know, will probably be sharing a, a different story. But, um, but yeah, I guess just, just want, you know, this diary to be a true, true reflection of, you know, a, a complete cycle um, in um, a month of, you know, living with premenstrual um, dysphoric disorder because, um, yeah, it's, it's a ride. It's a fucking roller coaster, really. And, um, yeah, I, you know, please, I'd love if you're stumbling across this channel. I know, like, my channel's really new, so, um, so, yeah, I haven't shared it far and wide or anything. I'm just hoping that there are people who need to find this and connect up with someone else who's going through it will find it. So I'll look forward to meeting you when the time comes. And that's it from me for now. <laughs> um, yeah, stay, stay safe and, um, and until the next time. Tomorrow's my birthday, so uh, I, I will hopefully be able to jump on and do a short post. Hopefully a happy post. Uh, okay, lots of love.